Strasbourgban vagyunk, ahol néhány perc a képviselő az plénum a kétharmados többséggel elfogadta a szargentini jelentést. A képviselőket kérdeztük arról, hogy hogyan szavaztak, illetve hogy szerintük van-e még a Fidesznek helye vagy jövője az Európai Néppártban. Speaking of the procedure against Hungary, have you voted for or against? No, I, I voted very strong against. Yes, I voted for uh, starting the uh, Article 7 uh, uh, proposal. I voted against it. It's a disgraceful attack on the voters of Hungary. It's a disgraceful attack on the democracy of Hungary. I have voted in favor of the launch of an result open, objective uh, Article 7 procedure. I vote for the report. <laughs> I voted um, for the report. Uh, well, for. It's against. I have voted for. What are your arguments? My arguments are that there was a very detailed report made of one of our, of our from the Green Party, from the Green Group, and I think she made a lot of researches. And as we saw yesterday, there was no step in, uh, in the volunteer of, of, of wanting to change something from Orban. So it's a pity for the Ungern people because we want them to have them in Europe. But um, with this report, it was difficult uh, to vote against this report. Every national government, every national parliament elected by Hungarian people uh, has the, 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 the strong political right uh, to, to vote your own uh, uh, domestic law in Hungary, uh, to follow this line um, elected and chosen by, uh, by Hungarian people. So I respect very much every national state in the European Union. That's why I'm against uh, uh, this pressure very left and very liberal outside the Hungary because this, this pressure is uh, unnecessary for me. What we saw today is no longer the European Union being an, a, a body of nation states but a community of civil servants and people who back them against the people of Europe. It's a disgrace and should never have happened. I'm very much convinced that this uh, procedure is not necessary because the situation in Hungary is much better than the left says. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, this is not uh, a sentence, what we did today. It's the beginning of an open process and at the end there can be criticism or at the end there can be uh, an objective um, um, yeah, uh, result uh, that the situation in Hungary is according to the European law. And therefore, I think it's good to stop this uh, very aggressive debate. Not all the things in the report are okay, uh, so we were a bit split what to do, but I think the Article 7 uh, uh, procedure gives the chance to, to come up with clear arguments on the facts and not just on political reasons. This report, it was really absolutely a huge mess. I never read so stupid report here in European Parliament and this is really very political. This is not report about uh, rule of law there is everything it started against the, the family and, and against against uh, for support the gender together mix it with other things also this is why I voted uh, against uh, as you know this is uh, containing the examination of the accusements And this, for me as Austrian, it's very important that Hungary is not bashed and uh, discriminated, but can have a very good chance to prove if these accusements are correct or not. Because many accusements are absolutely wrong. They are ideologically based and not uh, uh, properly in this report which we voted today. But there are key issues of European rule of law and uh, if this is uh, true or not must be examined and Hungary must get the chance to give their uh, clarification. It was quite a lot of facts in this uh, report about the situation in, in, in Hungary and, and, and uh, I like Hungary and I, uh, I, I'd like that, uh, that the situation uh, uh, in Hungary can be uh, more stable and more, uh, more positive. Maybe this report uh, uh, something helping this, in this process. Uh, I think Hungary has to change its politics. It uh, has to open a little bit more uh, for the European uh, standards and uh, the right thing is, uh, has happened today. So that's why we thought it's not 
the way or a common way um, in going forward in Europe in um, having a kind of, of too much national elements in it. Um, we very much appreciate that uh, Viktor Orban is still there in discussing everything and, and this is what we are very much appreciating. But then if he um, can also come back to a European line, it would be more helpful. Do you think uh, Fidesz should remain in EPP? Yes, sure. Um, Fidesz should remain in our party. We now opened the Article 7 procedure. Again, it's without any prejudice. It's an open, objective procedure we ask for. And we should decide afterwards because everything may be fine in the end and then we should see at the end and not now. Yes, should of any case. Maybe uh, there is now, uh, I don't know the English term, but if it is uh, a citation sit or, or uh, keeping freezing the membership for a period of the clarification, maybe, but I wouldn't uh, uh, agree any, any further uh, acceleration against Hungary. Uh, I think they should remain as long as it's clear uh, that they stand with the rule of law. And that is what we have to clear up with the Article 7 procedure now. If they are standing with the rule of law, when they are uh, uh, in, the, uh, uh, in the framework of the rule of law and the values of the European Union, why should they not be part of EPP? Uh, and if not, they have to, to, to think about their uh, political course. This is not the question what we have had today and, and this is probably something what we will discuss in the future but it depends all on uh, the behavior and attitude and so on but this is not the question for today. Hungary is a member of the European Union, we are proud that they are in but uh, we are hoping that we are together can um, Yeah, go on to the future on a common sense.